Hey, good morning. It's Saturday and it's a gorgeous day. Look at the blue sky. We haven't seen blue skies in the Northeast in quite a few weeks. So I'm kind of excited that we actually um, are having some really nice weather. So um, it always makes winter a little bit better when the sky is blue and the sun is shining, which it is today. So um, maybe you can see that. What is that? The sun? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm getting my hair done today. So I needed to get the dogs out real quick. And the meadow is the closest to my house. So um, that's why we're going here. All right, so come with me on my walk and enjoy. So we're um, at the trailhead of the meadow. Um, I have a hair appointment today. Canargua Creek Meadow Preserve. So I have a hair appointment and I don't have a whole lot of time. So that's why we came over here get a quick walk in so the dogs could at least be, get some activity for today. Yeah, this is a great winter, at least in my opinion. I know a lot of people want snow, but it makes it so much easier to um, hike with the dogs when there's not two feet of snow. And this is the first winter in a little while that we haven't had much in the way of snow. I mean, we really haven't had hardly any. I don't know if we're gonna get any at the end, but if you um, believe in the little folk tale about the woolly bears, um, it says if they have a lot of black, then you get a lot of snow. And then it goes by like at the front. So a woolly bear is black in the front end, then in the middle is orange, and then the back is black. So if the front end has a lot of more black than the back end, then you're gonna have a bunch of snow in the beginning of winter and not so much in the end and vice versa. So um, this year, all the woolly bears I saw, they had a lot of orange and only about a quarter of an inch of black. So maybe this is going to be one of those awesome winters where we hardly get any snow. And I'm sure the skiers aren't real happy because unless it's cold enough, they really have crap snow making, you know, fake snow, which that's not the best skiing weather. But um, I don't ski anymore since I have the dogs because um, that would take time away from the dogs and, you know. So, so I don't really go skiing much. I suppose I could go cross-country skiing and take them, or at least one or two of them. But I don't have cross-country skis, and my downhill skis are pretty old and outdated. Like, they're probably like 20 years old, hanging in the garage. Hey, you going the shortcut? All right, I'll go the shortcut with you. Hold on, gosh, look at that sunshine. Holy cow. 
Haven't seen that in a while. Dogs love to sniff and pee everywhere. Come on, Matt, uh, Pippin. Wow, it is gorgeous. It got pretty cold last night, so the ground is still pretty hard and there's not a lot of mud. I'm sure by this afternoon, with the sun out, that this will get a little muddy. And I didn't wear my mud boots. I've got my Columbia's on, so that's because they matched my outfit. So, um, yeah, hopefully we don't run into any mud. It's still pretty, the ground's pretty hard right now. Come on, Lane. Look at that blue sky. Wow. See, when you don't have something, and then when you do have it, you appreciate it. I would imagine that people who live in Florida um, or somewhere where the sun shines all the time, they probably don't even notice when the sky is blue because they're just, they have it all the time. For us in the north, you know, we appreciate a blue sky, the sun. We appreciate it in springtime when everything starts to grow again. We appreciate it winter when it's a time that we can rest. You know? creek I was way up creek the other direction behind my house. This is the same creek that goes behind my home. There's that cool tree with pretty blue sky behind it. So we were walking and Sirius stopped dead in his tracks. Max stopped too and um, I kind of figured the way his stance was, like he was on alert, I thought maybe somebody was there and I looked and yep, it was a guy with his golden. So I put my guys on leash and, um, the dog was really friendly though, so they did meet, do a meet and greet, so that was good. Um, but Siri was really good. Um, Really glad that he stopped, he waited, he came back to me so I could put on his leash and um, we had a controlled meat and fruit, so that was very good. Hopefully, we, um, the boards are across the little creek back in here. I don't have my mud boots on, so I don't really want to get wet. And Pippin really doesn't like going across the water anymore, so he will end up um, having to be carried, and I really don't want to carry him.